I'm going to move back into System Preferences, which is right here, and go into Spaces and show you yet another way of managing your desktop and the windows on it. First of all, I can enable Spaces. And what I've got here are, by default, four Spaces, and I'm going to show them in the menu bar. It's important I can see the icon up here, and this is Space number 1. What I can do now is to move windows into any of these four spaces. So let me take a finder window and I'm going to move it into space number two, which is at the upper right. If I move it here to the side, as I drag it up, or in, I'll move it into number four at the bottom, watch see how the spaces indicator it's called a sky view shows up if I move it over here to the left then briefly you will see I've moved it into the lower left corner which is space number three and up here I can see space number three that's the current space I can switch into space number one which is where I started and let's say I'll leave system preferences up here. Maybe iCal should go into space number three. So I take it down and that was space number three so I'm okay with that one. Maybe the finder window should go into space number one and I believe that's where it is. So if I look at space number one I have in there system preferences. Space number two has nothing. Space number three has the finder and iCal. Okay, let me move this into number two. And you see, as I move it to the edges, here I'm in space number two, space number one, space number three, and space number four. I can group windows in any way that I want. If I come back over here, I've recently used text edit, but it's not in the recent menu so I'll come down here to applications and come down to text edit open text edit and I'm going to create several documents and I don't think I have anything I have nothing in space number four so I'm going to put come back to here. I'm going to put in space number two, I'm going to put one of these windows into space one. Go back to two. Put one of these windows into space number three. At space number four. Move it over here. Now I'm in space number three. So you see you can move back and forth. Windows can be in any spaces that you want. You can have a space that makes sense to you. Maybe it's your internet accesses. Maybe it's some, a project that you're working on. So space number two might have a text edit document and a preview document for one project. You might have other text edit and preview documents in other windows because each space might be projects. You can also use preferences to say by default certain applications should go into certain spaces. So for example, I've just said that I want address book to by default open in space number one. I could say that I want it's fine. Chess. Let me say I want that by default to open in space number three. I can change the spaces for the applications. So by using the preferences, you can say what the default space is for the windows of a given application. But having done that, you can still move windows around from space to space by dragging them to the edges. And I don't want these to stay in effect, so I will delete them from here. And you can choose to activate spaces with a function key, and you can determine what it is. And I'm going to change the dock to be hidden. You can see that you also have function keys that let you switch between spaces 
or directly to a space or you can use the pop-up menu here if this is in the menu bar. It's a very very efficient way of working and you can create additional spaces and move things around. Once you have too many spaces though it may start to defeat its purpose because what you've done is you've gone from having too many windows on your desktop to now having too many spaces on your desktop. So four seems to be a good number and I find in fact even when I'm working on a number of projects during the course of a day I don't really use four spaces. I use one space that has the general administrative sort of things like iCal and address book and mail and internet but I also have usually two projects at most that I'm working on within a single day and you may be working differently also I find I use the internet a lot so as I'm working on two projects let's say I may have some browser window opens in both of my project spaces with the windows of the information that I need for each project so this is new in Mac OS 10 Leopard Look at it, play with it. It's very exciting and is a wonderful way to continue organizing all of the information we have that we need access to right away.